Welcome back to another episode of Literally Posers, a series where we tell you all about how big of a poser we are with the music industry. I'm your host, Panthundarius. I'm joined by my absolutely fire-ass co-host. Have you seen my tits? Shades. And I am uh, not in a cat mask, and I'm Dylan. We are Cyber Skull Media. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. We're a... Uh, Oh, wait, hold on. Hold on, guys. Hold on, guys. Uh, how can we take our channel seriously if we don't take things off of our faces, guys? <laughs> so since you took off two things, can Shades and I leave ours on? Yes, yes. I mean, I'll take off more. No, God, please, no, no, no! Whoa, 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 <laughs> no, no. <laughs> This is a family All right. channel. All right, let's put a poll up. If Fundy takes your shirt off, yes. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to need a lot more subscribers for that one. <laughs> Anyways, welcome back to Fail or Fire, where we tell you whether something's a fail fire or just plain mid. We're having a little bit of fun today. If you guys have been following us, we like to address things that happen in our comments, and uh, we love the Renegades. We're back with another Ren video. We're going to cover Sick Boy today because even though... Tails won the poll. People kept showing up today commenting like, hey, Stick Boy's back. Hey, Stick Boy's back. It's back up. We don't know for how long. So we're going to cover Sick Boy first. Then we'll get Tails. Okay? Okay? And then there's a Webby dropping this week too that we will have dropping on Thursday. It's going to be a good week. Oh, if you're new to us and this is the first video you have been exposed to, we are brand new Renegades. We have been around for just about a, what? Just over a week now? over a week week and a half we've been renegades uh, we covered Cujo beatdown last last week which people seem to really enjoy and we never we'd never heard sick boy because we came into the Ren fandom late we've already been taken down and we'd seen some re-uploads but we hadn't checked it out yet it's gonna be an interesting perspective watching Cujo beatdown first and following it with sick boy I'm pretty excited to see where this goes I'd like to I'd like to know about Sick Boy so that I can understand the Cujo one a little better. Wasn't this one like about his mental struggles and and everything else that's kind of happened throughout his life? Yeah, his his physical health as well. Yeah, yeah, okay. Let's check it out. <laughs> Thank you for coming in today. Thanks for seeing me. Looking at your file here, it seems there's a very apparent interplay with your emotional state and your physical body. Have you ever heard of the trauma response? I don't think so. Basically, our bodies can get stuck in a negative feedback loop. Our subconscious can repeat patterns from the past, which can have a pretty drastic downstream effect on our biology. Essentially, your mind is moving. Sick boy, sick boy, bitten by a tick boy, looking for that fix boy, anabolic steroids, them so poster boy, pass out, white noise, quick fix, snake oil, I'm about to break boy, oh, what a shame, he's in pain, have another go, take another pill, here, take a couple more, let's see how you're doing in another week or so, you'll be feeling worse when the side effects will show, TV okay, so that is quite quite a bit different i do like it though man like it just I, I was feeling it no picking sides or anything but man this this beats got me got me moving and grooving off to the start typical ren fashion some pretty impassioned lyrics here talking a lot about what a lot of people feel about the mental health industry take this pill side effects are worse than you know issue and good luck yeah for sure it's definitely a completely different vibe than uh the one he gave off i'm interested to see if it stays like the same or if we get some variation as this goes and things amp up, I'm digging the back and forth with the therapist or psychologist or the doctor, whoever it is. I feel like so I'm grasping this this concept of, of the pigs. I feel like this bitch is going to is a pig just from what I'm gathering so far. Not to be super nerdy, but yeah, if she's prescribing medication, she's a psychiatrist. So feeling worse when the side effects will show realization that the patient losing patience with the process walking hand in hand with Satan complications 
with the medication Information, dehydration, inhalation Aggravation, building up a toleration Drown, soccer, drown, soccer, drown, soccer, drown I've been feeling like I'm drowning with my feet upon the ground I've been screaming, I've been shouting, but I never make a sound I've been looking for a way out, but I always seem to drown Is this all making sense, Ren? Um, yeah, I think so Good What I propose we do is we try to pinpoint the exact experiences from the past that are keeping you stuck. What can you tell me about your childhood? Uh, I can't really think. It's okay if nothing comes up right away. What I'd like you to do is take some deep breaths with me. In and out. In and out. Good. Now tell me the first thing that comes to your mind. Shades called it. It's what it was coming to. I know, and we've talked a lot about the Renegades, and we'll keep hyping them up and shouting them out. But from a, a fan base that's so willing to share information and not gatekeep and be like, "Oh, you guys are new. You need to stay on, stay in your own lane." I love all the in intel we've gotten from the Renegades. It does help processing these videos like immensely. We know from people commenting and some things that we've seen that he has some serious health issues, and he uh, touches on them here with. Sick boy, sick boy, bitten by a tick boy, looking for that fix boy, anabolic steroid, stem cell, poster boy, pass out white noise, quick fix snake oil, I'm about to break boy. Oh, what a shame. He's in pain. Have another go. Take another pill here. Take a couple more. Let's see how you're doing in another week or so. He'll be feeling worse when the side effects will show. And as he goes on to list side effects, every time you're watching a prescription medication commercial, they're like fast forwarding through like a laundry list of side effects that are to some sound worse than what you're taking the medication for, or it's going to make what you have worse. We don't know. Be a guinea pig today. <laughs> your muscle aches will go away, but you will bleed from your eyeballs. Go fly a kite on the beach. It's beautiful. <laughs> it, it may cause you to want to opt out of life, but take this for your depression. Does it come with the hot chicken and puppy though? <laughs> I mean, might sign up for that. I'm talking about the puppy. I knew what you were talking about. <laughs> in Minecraft, Thumpty taught me that. In Minecraft, you have to say that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Boomer. You know they're they're gonna roast us for that, right? She was off at the door. In and out. Good. Now tell me the first thing that comes to your mind. I feel like it's not me. It's the world that's sick. We're given everything we need and we commoditize it. We consume, we destroy like we're parasitic. Science tells us that it's suicide and still we come in. I'm not sick. We are sick. We are standing on a cliff in the name of progress. We jump off the precipice. I'm not sick. I'm the virus. You're the virus, hypocrite. How can you sit there with a smile on and tell me that I'm sick? Sick boy, sick boy, looking for a fix boy. Push it down in public, quick pose for the big boy. Record label me. Things that come on the fire, gift boy. Why are you so upset? Don't you want to be a rich boy? Fuck no, industry is cutthroat. I've been doing bits by myself, swimming backstroke, walking on a tightrope, rapping with a slit throat. The way that we persist is like the ending of a bad joke. As the people of old, we're complacent to assailants and we do what we're told. Counterintelligence is like the behold. Rape the earth of all resources and we bleed it for gold. And we bleed it for wealth. But when you bleed it, can you tell me what the fuck will remain? And I'm bleeding myself, I bleed in my brain. While I'm bleeding, I'm the reason, because I'm doing the same. Well, he definitely picked it up a little <laughs> bit there at the end. And uh, I dug it, man. I dug it. I dug what he did with this. And like his, uh, I, I like the whole, the final uh, piece there where he's addressing what it's like to be a, a celebrity, you know, with conditions. They don't want you to be open and, and honest with your fan base. You know, they want you to push that aside, you know, bury those thoughts and feelings and struggles and smile and sign autographs and be a PR guy. Just smile and wave, boys. Smile and wave. You know, put on a happy face. That's right. This is my happy face. I feel like it's not me. It's the world that's sick. We're given everything we need and we commoditize it. We consume, we destroy like we're parasitic. Science tells us that it's opt out and we still commit. I'm not sick. We are sick. We are standing on a cliff. In the name of progress, we jump off the precipice. I'm not sick. I'm the virus. You're the virus hypocrite. How can you sit there with that smile and tell me that I'm sick? Your words, man. Yeah. <laughs> I I don't I I already don't like people, and so like <laughs> if I were to be put in his shoes, you know, with all these people flashing cameras and wanting autographs all the time, like I don't know. It, You're doing YouTube. I mean, it it I'm still behind I'm still behind that thing though. 
<laughs> for now <laughs> all i gotta do is put on a different pair of shades <laughs> where'd he go where'd he go <laughs> check this out watch uh-oh i'm someone else are you fooled who are you you guys listen to a lot of the same stuff that i do we have very similar tastes for the most part a lot of the artists that we listen to a lot of them don't get a chance to break free because they don't do the whole industry puppet thing you know what i mean they try to keep it real they speak what they they think and feel nobody's telling them or censoring them yeah, I mean, this this relates to a lot of the stuff. Even before we became renegades and were so graciously welcomed into this society, you know, a lot of the stuff that we follow and, and get stoked about is, is people saying similar things. You know, they're they're independent artists who haven't sacrificed integrity for the sake of keeping it real. Your ground is where it's at. Always has been. Like, I, I was so naive when i was younger i didn't like underground stuff and then i got out or got older and i'm like man i was so dumb well before we get into the review i want to cover this last verse as the people evolve we're complacent to assailants and we do what we're told counterintelligence a sight to behold rape the earth of all resources and we bleed it for gold we bleed it for wealth we bleed it for fame but when you bleed it can you tell me what the fuck will remain and i'm bleeding myself i'm bleeding my brain while i'm bleeding i'm the reason because i'm doing the same bars the counterintelligence everywhere all over we're not going to speak too much on that before youtube like stop it everyone's complacent in a lot of this stuff and sometimes because you just can't get out of it that's how it is all right let's get to this review who's gonna start us out today again we sound kind of like a broken record but this is fire you know that that beat coming in super infectious you know, we, we say this a lot regardless of the artists we cover you know good music makes you feel something the subject matter is heavy but like we're still nodding our head but we're also like processing not many artists can do that uh, ren definitely is a one of a kind another banger this is uh ren fire all day not much to say other than it fucking fire like are we ever gonna get a song by him that's not fire like he's so good i don't even know like I don't have words. He's just, I enjoy the movies he puts on. I had more words, but wait, wait, wait. Uh, <laughs> I, I would definitely say the Cujo beatdown one was better. It, it was for a different purpose. This one was better for the purpose that it was. Cujo definitely fuck around and find out. Like it, he, he put his shit out there the way he did. And then you were a douche and did what you did. Go sit on a jar. <laughs> <laughs> I really did enjoy this beat. I don't have much bad to say about this one, but yeah, I definitely think to prove a point, he did come out with a, a much better and a, a harder beat on Cujo Beatdown. I, I would give that one the edge. I don't dislike this beat, you know, like I said, you know, the, the whole Cujo fiasco, you know, I get that, but at the same time, I think this uh, this beat's just not quite as good as Cujo Beatdown. I, I also want to say that the beginning of, of Cujo makes more sense now too sort of the same intro but he was more aggressive and upset this was fucking fire <laughs> this was fire it's just a shame that this had to play out the way that it did like once again way to fumble the fucking bag hot i'm serious about this stuff oh. Yes, this beat was good for its intended purpose. Works very well with this Cujo beatdown beat. Just goes way harder, but it's got that anger behind it that this one didn't have for good reason. I, I definitely would love to cast for a damn movie. This dude can act. They're like watching short films, like you said, every every music video. Well, you know, some of the renegades did give us that heads up, you know, that he was very theatrical. I know some were kind of worried that it wouldn't come across well to some new people, but oh man, he's he's good at it. I read some of the comments that said it was you know, theatrical and stuff too, but I didn't understand. I'm, I'm getting it. It's getting there. Hearing the choir sample from this one as to what, what got stolen, it's just like, really stole that, bro? Why? Why? Wow. Wow. And I just love how people pointed out in Ujo Beatdown what the choir was saying. Please always let us know what we miss in these videos because like we said, we're new to Rin and we're gonna miss stuff on our initial loss route. So we love reading the comments and finding out the little pieces of lore and background things that we missed. We love seeing that stuff. Yeah, this was this was fantastic. I like the whole thought process behind this song. I know it's been a little more similar to some of the stuff we've been covering and people are ready to see us expand 
Yeah, it's really interesting going down this rabbit hole, especially in the way that we're doing it. We we don't have repeated views of this. We purposely save these first time views. We try to keep our reactions incredibly authentic and in the moment. So a lot of times we talk after these things and we go back and we uncover or discover all these different Easter eggs and different things that we've missed. But yeah, for the purpose of these reactions, you know, we, we keep it real. It's the first time watch through for all of us. So Andy and I will be hanging out and I'll see something. I'm like, hey, do we watch this or save it for the channel? And and it, it, we usually save it. <laughs> yeah, when I'm going through editing, there's so much I catch that I didn't catch the first time. And it's just like, man, I could have talked about this, this, this. But I'm like, oh, good. It's long enough. And our, and our subscribers are going to let us know. Now, well, Rin put the beat down on Cujo. You know, there's somebody else we know that uh, put the beat down on some unsuspecting victims. Do you have any idea who that could be, Shades? I have no idea. It's me, motherfuckers. It's our boy Dylan. He's in an indie horror movie. We're going to put behind the scenes making up interview that he did. The first 18 seconds of that clip at the end. So if you're interested in checking that out, put that at the end so you can. We don't want to interrupt your viewing experience too much. We like to do, just like Rin, a lot of various creative things. A lot of stuff that you haven't seen. Some of it hasn't even been made yet. We have a question. Another question for you Rin fans, if we were to do a live stream where we dove down the Rin rabbit hole of his lore on videos that were not music videos, would you show up and watch? What time would it need to be? Yeah, let us know what maybe videos we would cover. If you guys would show up, we would definitely plan one out. We never got to do a thousand sub or 2000 sub stream. Things have just been going so quick and we've been so busy, we haven't been able to figure that out, but that might be something that's fun, just coming on, watching some of his videos, talking about it, learning more about the man and everything that he's about. So let us know if that's something that would interest you. Let us know in the comments below whether you thought this was a fail fire or just plain mid, because we our cyber school media this was fail or fire and we keep bringing you the heat we will catch you next time we're dropping webby on thursday see you guys later later hi i'm dylan weeks i play tapehead jacob cobb in tapehead the return of jacob cobb uh, what drew me to this project was, you know, following up on what we did with the first tape head. We immediately rolled into conversations about what can we do next? How do we make it darker, uh, more of a slasher, more 80s style? And we just rolled right into it. You know, here at Cyber School Media, mental health matters. Shout out King Iso. I'm wearing John Malachi, I think. It might not even be his last name, but he builds stuff. Yeah. Hey, look, plain white tees. My favorite emo band. <laughs> <laughs> They're not at all. Too late. Too late. I'm canceled. Forever, everybody knows. <laughs> Fucking Delilah.